So, hello. hello. Today I'm here with uh, Hong Wu, who is a uh, professor at uh, Oxford uh, University College in Norway, and he is visiting us here at Karlsruhe. May I ask you to introduce yourself? Okay, thank you. Uh, well, my name is Hong Wu, and um, uh, as you can see, my name, I'm a Chinese uh, and born and brought up in Beijing, China. Uh, but I live in Norway uh, over 30 years and I live in different places in Norway but I have been working uh, at the uh, Oxford University College uh, for over 10 years now. I'm mainly uh, working for the Faculty of Engineer teaching uh, product design and development, uh, industry marketing and also innovation management uh, project uh, and uh, with the industry uh, cooperation as well. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You are here uh, with an, uh, as uh, part of an Erasmus program, yes, I and um, you are um, currently uh, teaching here in our master's program. Yes. And uh, you taught about the Nordic leadership style. What? How would you describe the Nordic leadership style? Okay, well, Nordic leadership style is. Um, it's a part of a theory of a management uh, theory, and uh, I think it was uh, developed by Anna Sorcerer, uh, one Norwegian uh, uh, organization researcher. Uh, we do have this uh, in management in a uh, company project. I myself uh, participated with one particular program uh, and starting in 2005. So I had some experience from 2005 until now, and uh, we're working uh, different company. Uh, I think I was uh, in two, three companies, and uh, we were working in uh, notice that in terms of uh, uh, um, cooperation between the different parts in uh, the company inside and outside company to uh, get a better. Uh, organization uh, development uh, process uh, and in terms of uh, uh, productivity increasing efficient uh, product uh, and a better cooperation climate between the uh, communication and dialogue between the uh, company employees and employees so I have some uh, experience in research there we use uh, what you call action research methodology where we participate uh, in the company uh, production and talking interview with uh, both company managers but also production workers and, and we find the problem, we define the problem and we find some uh, immediate solution we give them feedback and we change our research plan and in the process so about all is uh, kind of a, in research methodology is kind of a process oriented uh, methodology but for the Scandinavian Nordic uh, uh, management style is uh, talking about um, uh, participation, uh, involvement of uh, everybody in the decision process and the better dialogue and the decision making and decentralize the decision making and involvement of uh, the whole uh, organization development. Yeah. How would you compare the Nordic styles compared to the leadership styles in other countries, for example Germany, for example China? And just as an example. Yeah. Well, um, this is a relatively big issue. There are a lot of studies down there, and uh, I can refer with the Geta Offerstadt National uh, Cultural Study, where it dimensionalize and uh, well distinguish to make a distinction between different cultures and nations. And uh, so I should be careful to make a general conclusion for that. But my impression is that uh, well, there's a pretty much of a, the cultural differences uh, between those countries and the leader style and uh, the Norwegian and Scandinavian style is more or less flat form and is more you know um, um, uh, down to the bottom and the employees and the company managers uh, are encouraged to come in to the dialogue with the uh, employees. That was imposed both by law because every organization, every company, you do have this trade union representative uh, where quite often represented in the border or meeting and the decision making and very detailed in the task and uh, design of uh, procedure of the company and the quality management and so on and so on. So this is, a, I think, a part of the natural and the culture of the uh, Scandinavian leadership style where you can describe it or you can feel it. Uh, 
Um, um, well, other countries, uh, I feel like uh, more maybe hierarchy and more structured, more you know regulation. And of course, this is also something to do with the size of the organization. So it's um, yeah, I think people should be careful to draw some general conclusion. Uh, but I guess for many big companies, uh, you must have a big you know uh, hierarchy or whatever the regulation and rules so you must be obey uh, but I think it's uh, good to um, down to the bottom and dialogue involvement uh, participate those are the key word for Scandinavia management style and what do you think in terms of innovation you're teaching innovation in Norway mm -hmm. um, do you think it's a level for innovation or it's more hurdle the Norwegian style um, I have a difficult to find the direct definition of a Nordic style of innovation yet. We do have, a, I think I read some statistics saying Nordic country highly have, uh, uh, high countries have uh, really high, uh, relatively high innovation uh, activities. Uh, but there is a different way to do innovation. And, um, uh, my understanding of uh, the innovation activity, at least in my yeah, I running like my university college or the company I made in local, regional and southeast region of Norway are uh, more or less the innovation in terms of interdisciplinary cooperation and uh, down to the again company size. So um, it's um, encouraged again uh, the dialogue, communication between the people in different uh, you can call it category between, let's say, the employee or employers, but also um, people with a different backgrounds. Like uh, I've been working quite in, quite a lot with uh, you know the communication and communication and dialogue between the engineer and economy. In Norway, we do have this industrial economy, technical economy, and those are the topicals at the university and college level. I'm very very encouraged to have. So in the reality, in industry cooperation, I also encourage with the engineer are working together in the marketing and the economy. Yeah, that's okay. uh, that's um, that's a way of innovation. One way of innovation. Okay, thanks a lot. Uh, just one additional question: You experience teaching uh, at the university in Norway, and uh, compared to this year in Germany, okay. or especially Karlsruhe, do you see? major differences or do you see we are quite uh, we're doing it the common way well i think we can notice some differences and uh, i've been here only uh, one day and a half and uh, very interesting very inspired and uh, talk with uh, your master student and they're working very hard and they make a good presentation and uh, i think it's a little bit too short time to make a general conclusion, but I think I already noticed the differences that uh, the, um, uh, your students are more, I think, work harder and they are more, say, again, obey to the assignment. Uh, when the teacher say, okay, do that, do that, come back with the presentation, they do what they ask to. And in no way, so I think uh, my own experience is that um, well, there will be challenges to teacher. Again, my students are more engineer students than yours are more mm -hmm. master or economy student, so there may be some explanation for that. But I think in Norway, um, it's a kind of a hard to, um, to, 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 to set a fixed assignment for students, and uh, sometimes you have to push hard to get them to, to motivate to work hard for that. Uh, but on the other hand, so um, the Norwegian student could be very challengeable. They can ask a challengeable question. Uh, I think uh, my view is that they're not very afraid of professor and they can ask questions. Sometimes they ask what you call the basic question, uh, what you call the dumb question, or sometimes they ask uh, some critical questions. So the class dialogue, yeah, I think in, uh, I have actually now um, teaching product design uh, development for entering class level class student. Uh, so uh, it was kind of, um, yeah, some of them are very active in class and they are challenging my uh, lecturer. Sometimes uh, they disagree with me and just raise up and, and uh, yeah, mm. have a debate with me. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, maybe a little bit different <laughs> what I experienced so far. Yeah, but uh, I think this is also experience I make in Germany. So right? uh, yeah. uh, it's, it's challenging. It should be challenging for us. And uh, yeah. 
Thanks for being here, okay. and uh, it's a pleasure to work with here, you and to teach with you. Okay. Thanks. It's also yeah. a pleasure with, uh, for me okay. for being here and beneficial for me. Thank you. Uh, very thank much. you. <laughs>